guys, what's up? AJ here at the House of Masks bringing you another episode of Behind the Mask. Today's episode will be featuring the Graylin Films uh, Walter, also known as the mask that Papa Emeritus I used. Um, this is a foam latex mask, uh, and the significance in that is it is probably the most comfortable mask you'll ever put on your face. You can pretty much squish it into a ball. Um, it's just like a sponge. Uh, the negative with that is that these things rot so fast. I had my original Papa replica for less than a year before it started rotting, and I mean like rips and holes, and it's just a very uh, unavoidable thing with these. I've had them stuffed, I've had them plasti dipped. I started to duct tape the inside of the Papa 1, version 1 that I had. This is the V2, different paint. Um, but everything's just about as exact as you can get it to Papa's. I got some chips, just, I mean, these masks are very fragile, so. But they're also cool, they're easy to get a hold of. Grayland Films still makes them and sells them. I think they're an overseas company from the US, so it might take a little bit to get them if you were to order in the United States. But overall, they're worth it. They're not too expensive. I think I paid 30, 40, maybe 50 bucks for this. And I uh, got it on a Pringles can because I'm classy. But yeah, I have a uh, Papa One hat being made right now too, so I can't wait to see it displayed with this. But um, there's not a lot I can really tell you about this. I don't know who makes it. I know Grayland Films is kind of one of those like weird, not bondage, but like dress like a woman, wear a woman's face type companies and the, I mean they happen to make these and they, they make a lot of other stuff, they make celebrities and just silly goofy stuff um, but I know yeah that's the original this is one of the first replicas of the Papa uh, made from the same mask as his I didn't bring the other one because like I said it is rotting and it's rotting very quickly I had to duct tape the inside of it and it's been just covered in Plasti Dip if there was any other way to salvage these, I would definitely attempt to, but uh, if they rot, I can just buy another one. It doesn't seem like they're going anywhere anytime soon, so yeah, I'll, I'll put the link to Grayland Films in the description, and then I'll throw some pictures at the end, and that's just about it. There's not a lot to say with this one, but if you guys have any requests, let me know. Drop them in the comments, drop them on my Instagram, and we'll go from there, and I'll see you guys next Saturday for another episode.